All right, this is HKUSP Airsoft. This is accurate. Nice. Twenty two long rifle. Right in the Velcro on the right side. So let's do this. The let's open up the nylon layer here and pull out the lead. Twenty two long rifle. And the other one is you can see it's sitting right here in the fiber but it didn't penetrate okay this is nine millimeter fmj good good all right here's the entry point of the nine millimeter penetrate Nope, no penetration. That's just a scuff. It did not come through the vest. So let's find it. Oh, that'd be a... I'll do that. One, two, so it should be. I feel it right in here. There's a hole there too. Yeah, I feel it right in here. Yeah, it didn't go through did not go through. However, let's see it down in here. I'm going to do some surgery and cut this up. little bit more. I'm just cutting the nylon outside of the vest. There she is. There it is. Trapped inside the fiber. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's Did not we, fully penetrate. See if we can pry that out. Boy, that's stuck in there. And here's the nine millimeter FMJ pried out. Okay, this is 25 ACP. All right, the hole is here, and I can feel the bullet right under here. So if we can just work it up to the one of the slits I already made. Yep, yeah, here it is. There we go. 25 ACP. Stop that one. This is 12 gauge bird shot. It didn't like that. Let's try it again. Let's try loading it first. All 
All right, so this was the buckshot and we see that it sprayed a little bit here and definitely hit him in the neck. Or bird shot, not buckshot. Oop, it fell right out. There we go. All Charged. right, and this is 556 FMJ. Let me zoom in on Bob. Ready? Ready. Second shot. Third shot. Ceasefire. Not exactly sure where the entry was up front. Probably behind the Velcro here. Uh feeling a little bit here maybe yeah, maybe we'll see exactly where um but we're not probably gonna find the bullet in there anywhere because all three rounds came out the back one two three the seven six two by 39 hollow point ready zoom in on bob uh-huh Send it. And... Three shot total. I think let's pull the trigger again, right? Yeah. So, although we're not seeing the trauma on the front, 762 just made everything worse back here. Uh, last round, Ranger SXT, 9mm. Ready? Yep. All right, well, we definitely see the impact point. And this is interesting. It bunched up and it tore the armor up here. I could feel the bullet inside though. Let's pull this out and take a peek. Top of the vest caught it here. Looks like it definitely blew out that, that piece of it here. Let's open this. And it didn't even open. That's interesting. Check that out. Definitely mushroomed it out. There's a, there's a Ranger SXT. Shots with the rifle. Right here, mm -hmm. perfect for the mass. Went straight through. Yep. Okay. 12 gauge slug. Well, we definitely see where the 12 gauge slug went in. And there's the back of it. All right. It's nice and warm. 12 gauge slug. All right, and this is a Thrill Shock from BMP. Another slug. And you can really like that or by the thumb. It's like an AR. Just click this over. Good. Off safe, ready to fire.
I'm ready, good? I'm good? Ready? Oh my. Well, that impact flipped everything upside down here. Out the steam still all right smoking. all right looks like we have a another gigantic hole let's see if this one actually stopped it here was the first shotgun round and if you depress on the other side here it's much more firm this one sinks right in so there's even a lot of damage inside the thing there's no penetration Well, here's the wadding, and there is the slug. It did not, well, it looks like it penetrated the whole vest. However, it didn't go into the body. There it is. Made it most of the way through, but didn't. Wow. Wow. About 10 rounds of 5.56. Five, that just really took out all the space here. Wow. What?